Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and this video was filmed on Tuesday, September 21st. I'm very, very excited because week six is over and just like all the others, it went great. I dropped another 8.2 pounds, which brings me down 56.2 pounds after the first six weeks of the 15 week series. I've got nine weeks to go, still lots more time to make progress and dominate. But as you saw in the title, will I ever diet back down to my Spartacus shape? So obviously this video before we talk about week six is gonna be all about my plans for after this 15 week sexification is over. But I will start out by just saying that I do laugh whenever people ask me if I ever plan on getting back to Spartacus shape because I've been wanting to actually blog about that. I just haven't ever gotten around to it, but many of you know about this, but some don't, anybody that's new to the channel. In 2010, I won the National Men's Health Sponsored Spartacus Body Transformation Challenge. It was a national competition. I submitted my before photos, and then only eight weeks later, uh, I went from 250 down to 223. As you can see, Arthur's got the photos up. I'm all baby oiled up in a Spartacus outfit. And I won a trip to Auckland, New Zealand to appear on an episode of the series uh, Spartacus Gods of the Arena, which was the prequel to Spartacus Blood and Sand. But a lot of people ask if I'm ever gonna get back to that or else how I was at the end of my 2012 sex vacation. And uh, like I said, I do laugh because the last week of my Spartacus diet was pretty much the absolute worst that my body has ever felt. I was just going hard in the paint that entire eight week period, just working out sometimes twice a day, I'd say most days of the week, twice a day, uh, eating low calories, just trying to get the best, most ripped body I could so that I could win the competition. And that last week was just terrible. I think I was taking like 15 different supplements uh, and then pretty much since then, I haven't really taken that many supplements. With the 2012 sexification, I went at that a lot smarter, so I didn't feel as poorly physically by the end of it uh, when I took those final photos. And I did get professional photos for those, and I love them, and I still share them sometimes. But will I ever get back to that? The answer really is, is I don't know. I mean, of course we've got the 10 to 20% of the people commenting a lot that I can never get back to that just because I've gotten so big, almost up to 400 pounds. Uh, chances are there might be a little bit of loose skin uh, at the end. I don't really know. I've never really uh, been that high and tried to lose that much weight. I've already lost the 56 pounds in the first six weeks and my body, my skin is still feeling pretty tight. So I'm not worried about anything like that yet, but we will just see. I know I've been doing a lot of biking. Uh, it's time to start doing a little bit more resistance training. As you're gonna see in the upcoming videos, Katina and I have a lot of gym equipment uh, on its way to our house so we can have a home gym where we can both do uh, squats, bench, and a lot of uh, weight resistance training in addition to me using the Total Gym, and then of course still doing all the biking. I'm actually very, very excited. October 16th is coming up. I'm gonna be doing an 85 mile uh, gravel bike race in Wausau, I think it's pronounced, uh, up in uh, north of here in Wisconsin. So that'll be fun. I talked about my goals at the beginning of this series, but really during these 15 just straight up focus weeks, I'm not doing any food challenges at all. So the goal is to try to get my weight down as low as I can, and then I'm gonna ease off because once Thanksgiving hits, my sexification will be over. I'll almost be out of videos of food challenges for the channel. So it is time to get back to doing food challenges again. I know I'm excited to do some events with Katina as well, mostly around Wisconsin. We'll of course get down to the Chicago area, pretty much everywhere over the next couple months after that. So I'm excited to see everybody within the local area then, but keep in mind, my dietetic internship in graduate school is not over at all. The internship doesn't end until May of 2022. So up until then, I mean, I'll get to go home for Christmas and Thanksgiving, uh, major holidays, but other than that, I'm here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, doing everything for my internship. So we're pretty much gonna stay at two food challenge videos a week. Doing three just isn't sustainable. I've gotta be focused on school and my internship 
during the week and the food challenge events will pretty much be maybe some Fridays, but pretty much just Saturdays and Sundays. So the plan is, is yeah, to lose all the weight I can up until Thanksgiving. Uh, and of course it's gonna be a struggle with the holidays, but during the weeks I'll just be doing all the riding, all the working out, the schoolwork, and uh, everything that I'm doing now. The only really difference is going to be that I'll be doing food challenges on the weekends. And we're gonna be mostly focused on doing pre-existing challenges that are already around. Uh, most of the food challenges that I did prior to starting my internship, a lot of those were created by my team. And a lot of those were bigger. Uh, a lot of people give me crap for not doing hard enough challenges, but all of the really tough big challenges were ones that we created. With pre-existing food challenges, uh, there's just not many people out there doing food challenges anymore. Uh, I mean, you can pretty much count on your hands and feet, uh, even the people around the world actively doing food challenges. So most of the massive existing food challenges have died. Either the restaurant shut down or nobody was trying to challenge, so they just kind of quit it. That's why a lot of the existing challenges are smaller these days. So I don't expect to be taking in too many calories on the weekends, but of course more than I am now. With all of the resistance training, the biking, the working out, and the dieting during the week, I still intend to lose weight uh, pretty much all of the weeks up until after my internship is over in May. So yeah, uh, it's the sexification now, but even afterwards, we still plan on not just maintaining, but still losing. And it's gonna slow down as I've talked about a couple times already, but uh, right now my metabolism is higher because I'm bigger. I'm going to continually get down and my metabolism is gonna slow down accordingly because I'm not gonna have as much weight there. So yeah, uh, and then after my internship is over, uh, Katina and I plan on doing a lot of international traveling. Uh, we'll do a Northeast USA tour. We'll do a massive uh, west to east Canada road trip. Lots of stuff upcoming, but I'm still gonna be going at all that. Uh, not seven food challenges a week like I used to, because uh, I'll be maintaining the weight. The goal is to eventually do a massive giveaway of like all of my 3X shirts uh, because I don't intend to use them or need them anymore. Uh, I know I say that and we'll see if I can execute, uh, but we'll probably do something about that. I'll have an announcement before Christmas. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking about my plans uh, or I just posted the video about yo-yo dieting. Yes, technically there is, I mean, yo-yoing, uh, going from losing all this weight to gaining it back with food challenges, but uh, there's no yo-yoing after sexification uh, is over because like I said, I'm going to continue uh, with my weight loss just at a slower pace. So we'll see how everything goes. That is it for this video. I hope I've answered a lot of questions. If I didn't and you still have one related to this topic, please ask down in the comments. But for now, let's get down into the dungeon and find out how week number six went. All right, we are back down in the dungeon. It's time to check out week six. As you can see here, I weighed in yesterday 337.4 pounds. So that was awesome news. I went down 8.2 pounds for the week which was 56.2 pounds for the first six weeks. So really happy with how week number six went. Dominated my fitness goals. I hit my step goal every day other than Thursday, uh, but I made up for that on Friday, Katina and I. We went to the Miley Cyrus concert. That was my birthday present from her. I live in the light, <laughs> The sweet shirt that you're seeing in the photos but Miley Cyrus and Wiz Khalifa dominated and then we dominated steps I think Katina hit 20,000 that day but 17,580 for me uh, on Thursday I didn't hit my goal because I chose to instead go for the three-hour bike ride I hit my spinning goal of 10 hours I took off Monday after a big weekend of spinning rode on Tuesday after my night class for two hours off Wednesday, Thursday, three hours, and then on Saturday, two hours, 13 minutes. Uh, finished off, of course, like I tried to every day before weighing in, three hours on Sunday. So I hit my sleep goal on half of the days and then not on others, uh, which was still better than week five. 
as you can see I got the 445 the 450 but then I've also got 733 938 I'm gonna work on it more in week number seven uh, I did throw six strikes so I was happy with that uh, we did have a few beers and enjoy ourselves on Friday at the Miley Cyrus concert still finished under my calorie uh, at a deficit for the day so I did give myself a spare so yeah really happy like I said with how week six went and I do know that I didn't really ever answer uh, during the first half of this video whether I'll ever get back down to Spartacus shape and to answer that question is I don't know I do know that it's not going to be anytime soon still have a long way to go and I do not want to end with a whole bunch of loose skin so I do plan to uh, go at it at a slower pace once this sexification is over like I said I do want to give my body time to adapt along with all the changes going at a slower pace will hopefully allow my skin to kind of adapt along the way and I won't end with a whole bunch so I plan to maintain a weight as a registered dietitian nutritionist around 245 to 250 pounds so that is not far at all uh, from my Spartacus weight which is around 225 pounds so we'll just have to see but I do appreciate you guys watching this video I think you're going to be seeing a fully furnished home tour in the next video followed by a fitness video I think all about my fitness regimen but that is it for this video if there's something else you want me to talk about in an upcoming video still have a lot of weeks left so let me know that down in the comments below until my next video for week number seven i hope you guys always 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 win before you begin thanks for watching